Them Changes, a funky cosmic groove laid over a 1970s sample drum beat and an evergreen story of a heartbreak. Thundercat combines different worlds, taking us on a journey to search for his heart. This seemingly simple song hides some cool harmonic concepts. Let me show you. The verse is in E flat minor key and the melody is more or less using the notes of E flat minor pentatonic. The chord progression is a two bar loop. We have a C flat major 7, G minor 7, A flat minor 7, and F minor 11 on the first bar, and the second bar is just E flat minor 11. Here's the cool thing about these chords C flat major 7 is the sixth degree in our tonality. A flat minor 7 is the 4th and E flat minor 11 is of course the 1st degree. The chords G minor 7 and F minor 11 are not in the key and because they fall on the weaker beats of the bar, so beat 2 and 4, they can be switched by many different chords or even left out altogether. Check it out. Nobody move, there's blood on the floor And I can't find my heart so these G minor 7 and F minor 11 are basically an approach chords and they are announcing the chords that are coming after them. Because they come from different keys, they bring extra color and tension points to the progression. Here's some different chords that you can play on those two spots. Nobody move, there's blood on the floor. And I can't find my heart. Nobody move, there's blood. You can play around with this idea and explore it, but keep in mind that in the end the melody will define a framework for you. The scale that you can use to improvise over this progression is just E flat natural minor because you can just ignore those two spots that I talked about. The interlude is quite a different contrast to the verse. Thundercat lets go of the drum beat and we enter into a world of a very straight ahead jazz like harmony and melody. Here we enter a relative major key, the G flat major. We have a G flat major chord, which is the 1, C flat major as the 4, then we have a B flat 7, which is a secondary 5, E flat 7, which is a secondary 5, and then a 2 5, so A flat minor 7, D flat 7. We come back to G flat major 7, the 1, C flat major 7, the 4, and then this B flat sus to B flat 7, which is again a secondary 5. The melody elegantly moves between chords bouncing off on important notes of the chords and some tension and resolution. The scales that you can use over this chord progression are G flat major over the first two bars and then over B flat 7 you can use E flat harmonic minor scale, over the E flat 7 you can use a half whole tone scale or diminished scale, on the 2 and 5 you can use just again the 1, the major scale or if I like to think D flat mixolydian scale because of a different function and then again next two bars G flat major scale and on this B flat 7 you can think again E flat harmonic minor. I hope this video helps you clarify some things about the song and shed some more light on how to approach analyzing a song and how to expand on certain ideas of a song. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.